Every polyglot is different. Oh yes it is, indeed, that's true, that's absolutely true. In one of the latest videos that Cluxton made, he stated that, amongst other things, that polyglots are not equal, and that is absolutely true. Well, Benny, the Irish polyglot, is, also, is always saying that everyone can learn the language and blah blah blah. Well, uh, that's true, but that's not exactly absolutely true. The deal is, the thing is, well, deals, that's his kind of stuff, not mine. But the thing is, when it comes to learn a language, not everyone has the same ability to, to speak languages. Uh, I've come across people, uh, it was like uh, three months ago, maybe, or two and a half months ago, more like it. And I was talking to a Scottish guy, and his Spanish was low intermediate, low intermediate. He kept saying Makina, Makina, instead of Makina, per, for the, the, the Spanish word for machine. Until the, until the, the girl from there, or the, the one from the bar, told him, Makina, not Makina, it's Makina. Oh, okay, okay. And then he said like, Pesca, Pesca. He wanted to say Pescado, the word for fish. I mean, that fish, uh, it's Pescado. Uh, a living fish, it's Pez. If you guys don't know that, yes, it's the, they have different words. And I don't recall exactly how many years was he living here in Spain, uh, not here in, in Cadiz, but I guess it was like seven years. So not everyone is different to learn languages, and not everyone is interested in learning languages in the same way. So for me, it's much easier to learn Spanish and even Catalan, despite the fact that I'm not been, I haven't been studying Catalan lately, but I was there during four days and I learned like 50 words or something like that. And I had the ability to practice. And my Catalan is, uh, is like a low intermediate level, but I have a little bit more fluency, despite the fact that my grammar sucks, kind of, and I lack in vocabulary. So it's not the same for me to learn a language related to mine than to learn another language unrelated, but that's, uh, that's a fact. That's a fact. It's not the same for a Vietnamese guy to, to learn uh, Mandarin than uh, for, for him it will be uh, equally hard to learn Portuguese or Spanish than to learn, uh, than to learn Mandarin. But that's not, that's not what I'm talking about. Because that is a fact. Uh, people learn better and easily languages related to their mother tongue, to their branch of, to their branch of language. So the thing is, uh, uh, there are a lot of people for instance, Romanians in Portugal, uh, I've come across several Romanians in Portugal, because in, Roman uh, in Portugal and in Spain you can find a lot of Romanian native speakers. And uh, one, one thing is for sure, they learn Portuguese and Spanish at the low intermediate level very easily. Like uh, in less than one month or one month or something like that, barely without studying, they're speaking the language on a low intermediate level. But then years pass by over and over again, and they're living there for four, five, six, year, six years and more, they barely surpass the intermediate, upper intermediate level. Some of them uh, might, be, might be able to reach advanced levels, the, mo the ones more interested in, or working in, with the, their works are a lot more communication uh, related, and, but others, uh, they, don't, uh, they, they barely surpass the intermediate or upper intermediate level. But of course, they go there to work and they go there to, to improve their lives, their economic lives. They don't go there to, to, to be proficient in languages. Of course, that's also true. But one thing is also for true. So if we were equally uh, predisposed or whatsoever to learn languages, uh, well, every Spaniard would speak English, for instance. They don't. Mostly they don't. But that's not exactly because they're stupid, because uh, that's not the problem. I have come across a lot of Spaniards uh, speaking English. The problem is that the educational system failed. In Spain a lot of things has failed. In Portugal and Spain we, we could drop this out into a black hole uh, and, no, and no one would notice. Because uh, we, our educational system has failed a lot. Our polit the politicians have fucked up everyone in here, everyone. And so everything is so fucked up that we don't know exactly how can we get out of this hole, of this shadow now. So, but that is not, again, it's not the point of this video. 
I'm just saying, I suck at math, for instance. You guys uh, try to talk, talk me into learn math. I will fail, I will flunk for sure, because I'm bad at math. That's why I'm good at words. That's why I speak Spanish very, very well. I speak English pretty well. And I'm making progress in other languages and I'm, I feel motivated to do it because sometimes I fail a lot too, but sometimes I also do the best that I can and that's what I want to do. I want to do the best that I can. Uh, but other people, it's hard for them to learn. I recall speaking in, uh, in Barcelona with a girl, she's from Republica Dominicana, uh, Dominican Republic, and... She was been living there for several years now. She sp of course, she speaks Spanish because uh, that's language there. And she also spoke a little bit of Catalan too. But then she told me that she sucks at English and she's attending classes. And I, and I told her, why? I don't know. It, uh, that's, that's the problem. Well, it's true that Spaniards have a long, have a long, long history of failing in, um, in learning English. For instance, they, they say, I'm a Spanish, I live in a Spain. They tend to, to put an S behind the, behind the, 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 an A behind the S. And everyone wants to fuck around, and everyone loves to fuck around with me, because instead of saying, I'm thinking, nothing, I know how to do this, I really know. The thing is, I speak, uh, I speak, I speak very fast, and I don't even notice most of the times. I don't have to say, I think, I don't have to say something to, to speak English properly. I have to speak English just like I do, uh, fluently and naturally. So, another main point, maybe Spaniards could be better in, in English if they didn't, didn't uh, put all of the movies in, in Spanish, if they had subtitles like, uh, every, well, not, not everyone, but like in a lot of countries they do, we have subtitles. Uh, and that would be a way for them to learn how to pronounce it better and how to improve it. That's for sure. Then, of course, the educational system uh, is failing. It's failing quite a lot. Uh, uh, English teachers don't have a clue how to, how to teach the language. They don't even know. Maybe they're like uh, B1s, B2s, and they, they want to sound like they're C1s, C2s. And that's when it fails, too. Then, uh, of course, people go, the people learn languages, mostly, mostly people, they don't learn languages for sport, they don't learn languages for, for pleasure, they learn languages because they have to, they don't have another choice. If they don't learn it, they won't get a job, they won't get, they won't get paid, they won't be able to, to go shopping and stuff like that. And then they just close in their worlds over and over again, and I, they say what I said to myself, uh, a long time ago, I already know it all, I already know a lot. Oh yeah, you do, for sure. I lack at least, at least two, two thousand words I lack in English to, to claim myself proficient in English. And I know that because I have a lot of words and noted down expressions that I came across using courses and stuff like that. And my English, despite the, uh, my Spanish, despite the fact that it's uh, near native, and it is for sure, I lack in a lot of things. I lack in a lot of things. I still come across words and expressions, not daily, but when I when I uh, watch TV, I don't watch TV. I watch movies, and then I watch. But when I watch um, a Spanish movie, or when I'm um, let's say when I'm eating and watching the news, I still come across words and expressions, and that's good. That's good, and that's that's great. That's not good. That's even better. That's great. Because uh, it makes us stay put and realize that we got a lot to learn. So, every polyglot, they are not the same. Not everyone is the same. My ability to learn languages, it's not the same ability to learn languages than others do. My ability to pronounce languages is not the same. For instance, one guy, and I don't like it that much, I don't like that guy that much, but the truth must be spoken. We must speak the truth. So, that guy is Luca Lampariello. His accents are really, really great. I don't know how he does it, but his accents, I don't know, are, they are not exactly native, native, just like he thinks he, he does, but almost. Maybe in one, one word or another word or some word or something like that, people can realize that he's not native. Or due to the fact that um, he might not speak, and I believe he doesn't speak all languages fluently. But besides that, his accents are really great. So... 
I speak languages with a, a good accent, I believe, but I ain't, I ain't able to speak with the, the accent that he does. So, it's a proof that uh, every polyglot is different. Okay? I'm sure I speak Spanish much better than he does, because I live in Spain, my wife is Spanish, so there's nothing strange about that. But maybe he has less accent than I do, for instance. So, here's a proof that not every polyglot is equal. And then, if we go, if we go and stay and study like um, tonal languages, I will be bad at tonal languages. Of course, I will be bad at tonal languages. Uh, almost every Western will have a lot of problems with tonal languages. And just like the Spaniard has the problem with the I speak, I am Spanish. They don't say I'm Spanish, they don't say I am Spanish. Just like the Spaniard has that problem, I have the problem with tones. I will, I will have this, this problem with tones during a long time. So, that's it, my friends. Everyone can learn a language at a certain level, yes, but I believe that it takes some... Uh, you gotta have some a certain degree of... Uh, let's see. You gotta be predisposed to, to, to do it. Because if you're not, uh, you'll flunk, just like, just like I will flunk in uh, mass, for instance. So that's it, uh, everyone thinks that uh, oh, polyglots can do the same things. Yes, they can try to do the same things, but they will always come these this things, those differences between us. Uh, I believe I'm very good with rhythm. I speak fast every goddamn language that I try to, even the, even if I, my, word, my vocabulary is limited, I tend to speak fast. Uh, a lot of uh, polyglots, they speak slower. My accents, I believe they're good, but uh, they're far from perfect. Other polyglots, the accents are much worse or much better. So that's it. Every polyglot is different. See you guys then.